Hey everyone, welcome back. It's the fourth and final round of the Cat Paws Open. Can't wait to see how this thing closes out. Got some really awesome final matches here. Let's get into the lineups and let's see who's fighting each other in the last round. All right, so for the top spot for first place right now, we have a warm pop tart versus Siamese Cat Paws. They're going to be taking each other on in a, an exciting match here. Eagle HQ is going to be taking on Big Dude. Blizzard is going to be taking on Y Haley. Johnny Tours is taking on Joe C. And yours truly is actually in the bye for this last round, which is uh, pretty good for me. I didn't actually really want to fight in the last round. I wanted to kind of give everyone a chance to kind of uh, finish out placing in this tournament without me kind of being there. Like I said, I, well, the reason why I joined this tournament in the first place was to be the kind of that eighth spot. And we ended up having a ninth. And I decided to play anyway it was a lot of fun I had fun playing but uh i was super happy actually just to give everyone else a chance to play this uh final round without me um in the way and um yeah let's get into the matches and i'll see you afterwards all right here we go first battle of round four johnny tours versus joe c one-sided battle again just Johnny tours video but let's see what happens wish cash against rosalina not a good start here for johnny tours that raise relief is going to really cut hard into Wish Cash gets to a mud bomb and switches out and goes to Scullopede. Scullopede coming in now against Rosalina with a quick X scissor. Charged up, excellent. Shield there from Rosalina switches out. Now comes in with a Chimeco. Uh, that's an interesting Pokemon there. Sludge Bomb. From Scullopede here. To the face, down goes Chimeco. Shiny Chimeco, interesting pick. Coming in here, Flygon versus Scullopede. X Scissor coming back. Not going to be super effective. Ground and Dragon here. Giant Tours is probably just going to sack out the uh, Scullopede. Do as much damage as he can. Manages to get a shield there. Two shields. Josie down to no shields versus Johnny's two. Johnny definitely putting the pressure on here. Yeah, sacking out Scullopede. <clears throat> Earthquake KO comes in with a snow uh, with a Machamp punching right in here to the Flygon going for a cross chop. Cross chop coming into the face. Big hit down goes Flygon. All right, coming back and now we have another V. Ooh, Rosalina's back in and Machamp short work here. Wow, what a crushing start here for Johnny Tours. No shields used. Josie uh, putting up a good effort, though, but it wasn't enough. Let's see what happens in the next battle. All right, here we go. This is the second battle between Johnny Tours and Josie. Johnny Tours is up one. Machamp open here for Johnny Tours against Rosalina. Rosalina throwing the razor leaf. Definitely not nice against Machamp. Machamp going for a cross chop. Rosalina is going to block here. All right, Machamp continuing to fire. Looks like she's going to try to farm down Machamp, but then uh, Johnny Torch quickly switches over to Scullopede, saving some energy on the Machamp for later. Going for a quick X scissor here from Scullopede. Expecting Rosalina just to go down here, not to use two shields. Yeah, Rosalina's gone. Back comes in Flygon against Scullopede here. Scullopede throwing a sludge bomb. It's not going to be super effective because of the ground typing on, on Flygon, but we'll see what happens here. Josie actually throws up a shield here. Throwing back an earthquake. All right, Johnny not going, no, still not using any shields here. He's in a two, two shields to none situation. Sacks out his Flygon. Johnny Tour is coming in with a wish cash. Flygon is wide open to a blizzard. Looks like he's going to go right for the blizzard to the face. Flygon gets to an earthquake. Wishcast throwing up the shields. Definitely a really strong match here for Johnny Tours in this one. Blizzard, blizzard coming in from Wishcast. Super effective to the face. Down goes Flygon. Big hit. Pack comes in Chimeco. That weird Chimeco again is back. Mud Bomb. Coming into the face. 
Looks like this one's going to go to Johnny Tours. It's only a matter of time that Wish Cash is going to eventually mud bomb down. Chemeco here and Johnny Tours is going to go into a 2 0 situation going into the final battle. Trying for 3 0 against Josie. We'll see what happens in the next battle, but good job here uh, by both competitors. We'll see what happens in the next one. Chemeco not going down without a fight. Throwing an attack here. Shadow Ball, Wish Cash blocking. One more Mud Bomb. This is going to do it. To the face. All right, let's see what happens in the third and final match. All right, here we go. Final match between Johnny Tours and Josie. Johnny Tours is up to Josie continuing just to lead with Rosalina. Johnny bringing in Slurpuff this time as a lead. With a few extra Pokemon on the side. Charm versus Razor Leaf. Two big hits just smashing each other. Who's going to get to the charge attack first? Ooh, and Johnny Tour switches out to Cradley. Rosalina now. Probably throwing Fire Weather Ball. Johnny Tours is going to block here with... Oh, Petal Blizzard to the face. But the shield went up. That would have been a surprise. Cradley, bullet seeding, not doing any damage to... <laughs> Cradley just getting Razor Leaf down. Grass Knot coming in here from Cradley. Not very effective, but effective enough. Down goes Rosalina. That shiny Chimeco coming in one more time. Stone Edge coming in here to the face against Chimeco. What's good? What is she going to do? She blocks with Ch for Chimeco. Switches out. Back comes that Flygon. Stone Edge one more time. Coming back against Flygon this time. Probably going to expect a shield here. Want to protect the health on her, on her Flygon. Nope. Takes it to the face. Not very effective, but still a big hit into Flygon. Down goes Cradley. Probably comes back here with the Charm from Slurpuff into Flygon. Yes. Big Charm hits there. Flygon throwing. Looks like another earthquake blocked by Slurpuff. Johnny Tours charms down. Flygon back comes in Chimeco. Switches back over. Alola Mola here for Johnny Tours. One of the tankiest Pokemon in the game versus Chimeco. And probably what's going to be a Shadow Ball to the face. Big hit there against Alola Mola. Chimeco trying to hold off this defense tank of Alola Mola. Hydro Pump coming in this time from Alola Mola. Chimeco blocks. Josie trying to get to another Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball coming in here from Chimeco. Can Alola Mola hang on? Shadow Ball to the face. Alola Mola barely up. Big hits here. Who's going to take it down? And Johnny Tours takes it 3-0 with Alola Mola. Good job, both of everyone. This was a good set of battles. We'll see you in the next one. All right, here we go. We got Eagle HQ versus Big Dude K78. I was unable to get Big Dude's video for this final round. But uh, here we go with Eagles. Eagle open up with Talonflame versus Shadow Machamp. Talonflame charging up here. Incinerate doing some hard damage to Machamp. Eagle going for a flame charge against Machamp here. What is Eagle going to do? Big dude blocks it there. All right, Shadow Machamp using his first one. All right. Rock slide or cross chop, which is coming in. The fake out. Eagle not going to take a chance. Throws up the shield. Cross chop coming in there from Big Dude. Going for the slightly less energy. Burning a shield. Eagle trying to get one more. Flame charge in there, but Eagle getting the shot first. Rock slide coming here from Big Dude. Incinerate. Down goes Machamp. But no shields for Eagle. Flame charge coming in here against Lapras. Lapras taking the hit there. That water typing definitely protecting the fire. Talonflame. Eagle going for a 
Brave Bird this time really charged up. I expect the shield to be put up by Big Dude here to protect his last Lapras. He does. Water gun down. See you later. Talon Flame. Big Dude come, coming in hard with Lapras. Eagle coming back up with Slurpuff. Lots of Slurpuffs in this cup. It's been a very uh, common uh, pick here from quite a few competitors. Ice Beam coming in to the face against Slurpuff. Big hit. Charms. Which one's going to win out the race? Big dude switching over to Confagrigus. Eagle trying to get to a charge before not switching over to Snorlax. Snorlax coming in here. Lick attack against Confagrigus. Confagrigus is probably going for a Dark Pulse. Dark Pulse to the face of Snorlax. Eagle continuing to charge up here. Another Dark Pulse coming here from Confagrigus. To the face again. Body Slam coming back from Snorlax. Eagle kind of being pushed back here. Tough open here for him. Body Slam not very effective. Effective enough. Down goes. Wow. And... Eagle coming back there, taking out Big Dude in that first match. Wow, good job. Let's see what happens in the next one. All right, here we go. Second battle between Eagle HQ and Big Dude. Eagle up one. Eagle open up again with Talon Flame. Big Dude with his Shadow Bee Drill. Not a good start here for Big Dude. Quickly switching up to Kofagrigus. Eagle switching over to his Shadow Snorlax. Hard counter there. For Eagle versus Big Dude. Dark Pulse coming in here against Snorlax. Dark Pulse taking the hit. That sh lick Shadow Lick Attack is really mean against Kofagrigus here. Snorlax charging up. Going for Body Slam. Has to take a Dark Pulse here. Going to shield. Alright, blocked by Eagle there. Body Slam coming in. Almost to an Earthquake though. Maybe trying to fake out an attack. Body Slam coming in here. Let's see what Big Dude does. Takes it. Not very effective. Continuing to go for that lick. Trying to just race him down. Down. All right. Kofagrigus is out. Snorlax is charged up. What comes back? Back comes Beedrill. Two Body Slams charged up here on Snorlax. Oh, he's actually going for the big hit. The Earthquake. What's he going to do? Earthquake to the face. Oh, that's crushing against Beedrill. Beedrill is out. Big Dude only has one Pokemon left but two shields. It's Lapras. Eagle switching back to Talon Flame here. Going for Flame Charge. But Eagle getting to... Big Dude getting to probably a Surf first. Going to take the hit. Surf's up. Big hit to Talon Flame. Throwing, black, throwing back a Flame Charge. Going to force uh, one of Big Dude's first shields here. Can't risk the Brave Bird. Down goes Talon Flame. Slurpuff coming back. So we got Charm versus Lapras. Pretty tough match here for Big Dude. Charm is really going to hurt. And Slurpuff also has the grass attack. Eagle protecting his Slurpuff's health by throwing up a shield there. Block the surf. Charm is just going to run this one down. Looks like Eagle is going to take the second battle here to go up 2 0 against Big Dude. As Eagle continues to dominate this match. Surfs up again. And Charm down goes Lapras. Big Dude goes down with still a shield. Really well played battle there by Eagle. Good job. Let's see what happens in the next one. All right, here we go. Third and final battle between Eagle and Big Dude. Big Dude open with Lapras. Eagle going with Slurpuff. Definitely a good open here, I think, for Eagle on this one. Charm just hits a bit harder. And with that energy ball, is a big threat to Lapras. Although they seem to be uh, trading blows here pretty good. Eagle has a bit of a health advantage, but puts up the shield here, not wanting to take a Surf or an Ice Beam. Surf's up, blocked there by Eagle. Eagle going for Energy Ball. Throw with an Energy Ball. Big dude. Is he going to shield or sack out the Lapras? Let's see. Energy Ball coming in to the face. Down goes Lapras. Big hit. Big dude coming back with that. Poison Jab Shadow from Beedrill. Switching out as Talonflame comes in for Eagle. Switches to Sableye Shadow. 
Flame Charge coming in now from Talonflame. Probably trying to force another shield as he has to protect his Sableye. The question is, what is Evil going to do? He can't switch out here. He's just continued to just incinerate. Now he's a choice. Does he shield? Does he save his Talonflame? Looks like he's going to save the Talonflame. Foul play coming in there. Flame Charge again for... Ooh, can't go what? Went for some extra energy there. A second foul play coming in here from Sableye. That's going to knock out Talonflame. This is a big uh, big move here by Big Dude. Down goes Talonflame. Slurpuff back in, though. Charm crushes out Sableye. Big Dude with a shield. Come with the poison jabs. Takes out Slurpuff. Beedrill with a shield against Snorlax. This is going to be quite the finish. Durability versus that Shadow Lick attack. Of Snorlax. Drill run to the face of Snorlax. And Beedrill is going to come through here again. So it looks like it's going to be a 2-1 final finish. Eagle winning here against Big Dude. Good battles. And uh, let's see what happens in the next one. But good job, guys. All right, here we go. We got Blizzard versus Y Haley. This is a one-sided battle because I only have Blizzard's video, but let's see how it goes. Huge start here for Blizzard with Shadow Galbat versus Whimsy Scott. Y Haley switches out right away and goes to Kofagrigus. Blizzard charging up, almost gets to a Shadow Ball, switches to Wish Cash right on the attack here from Kofagrigus. Blizzard decides to take the hit, and Psychic coming into the face against Wish Cash. Shadow Claws coming back. Mud Bomb charging up. Blizzard going for... Almost gets to Blizzard. Goes for a Mud Bomb. But another attack coming in here from Kofagrigus. Blizzard throwing up the shield. Shadow Ball this time. Would have probably KO'd. Back comes Wish Cash here with a Mud Bomb. Excellent. Mud Bomb to the face. Kofagrigus has mud on him. Another Mud Bomb coming in here quickly from Wish Cash. Wishcast firing again. Is Wiley going to go to no shields or risk losing out his Kofagrigus? Let's see right here. To the face. Wow. Kofagrigus is still up. Two shields on Wiley's side. Wiley is conserving his shields against uh, Blizzard here. Wishcast is pretty beat up. Whatever he comes back with is probably going to take it out. Why Haley coming in here with a Whimsy Scott? Bl wow, Blizzard's Wish Cash is actually able to get to a Blizzard. This is definitely going to force a shield from Why Haley. Wow, to the face! Devastating! Down goes Whimsy Scott. What a blow! Why Haley coming in here with a Sableye with two shields now. Goes back to Golbat. Going for a Poison Fang. Definitely got to see a shield here from Why Haley. One Shadow Ball would not, not be nice. Takes it. Wow, he even risked taking a Shadow Ball there. No, defense down. Poison Fang again coming from Galbat. First shield there on the po on the second Poison Fang. Sableye's defense is down again. Sableye coming back with a foul play. Blizzard taking it here. Probably going to see the end. Yes, down goes Galbat. Bat comes in. Machamp now, throwing those punches. Not very effective against the ghost typing of Sableye, but getting to a cross chop. Cross chop coming in here. And shielded. All right. Sableye on the back end. Can't get, a, can't get one more final throw in. Blizzard ends up taking in the first one. Let's see what happens in the next. All right, here we go. Second battle between Blizzard and Y. Haley. Blizzard up one. Blizzard opening up with that Wish Cash. Why Haley coming here with a Sableye? Wish Cash powering up. Going for Blizzard or is he going to fake just below? Okay, gets the Blizzard. Oh, goes for the Blizzard this time. Not faking uh, Mud Bomb. Going for the big KO. Let's see what Why Haley does. Blizzard coming in. Oh, shielded. Good move. Good block there by Why Haley. Sensing that the, uh, the KO inbound. Blizzard switches over to Crobat. Crobat is going to take foul play. Oh, return to the face. Why Haley throwing return? That's going to really smash through that Golbat. Golbat managing to just get. Ooh, now we got a foul play coming in. 
Blizzard's foul play. Ooh, Blizzard blocks foul play. Crobat gets to... Oh, wow. He Big, 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 huge. That was massive. White Haley taking out Blizzard's Crobat. Fort got a shield out of him. That's huge. What a turn of events there for Y Haley. Back comes Wishcash. Another foul play coming in here. Sableye putting in the work for Y Haley here. Foul play. Shields down. No shields for Blizzard. Mud Bomb. Coming in. What is Y Haley going to do? Protect that Sableye that's doing great work or let it go? Oh, switches over. Cofagrigus taking the hit to the face. Mud on the Cofagrigus now. Y Haley chart. Blizzard charged up there, switched out, switches over to Machamp. Shadow Ball possibly coming into the face. Yes, Shadow Ball, boom. That's a devastating hit to, to Machamp. Down goes Blizzard being pushed back in this one by Y Haley. Y Haley fighting back, not going down easy. Comes back in here with a wish cash, going for Blizzard. KO, but out goes Cofagrigus, but... Why Haley still has two Pokemon and a shield. Back comes in Sableye. And down goes Blizzard. Why Haley tying it up. This is an awesome battle. Let's see what happens in the third one. All right, here we go. This is the third and final battle between Blizzard and Why Haley. Great matches so far between these two. They're tied at one. Machamp versus Beedrill. Both shadows. Machamp kind of on the... Uh, Back foot here, switches out, Blizzard goes, Wishcash. Blizzard using Wishcash in all three battles against Y Haley here. B drill throwing. Now is it going to be an X scissor or is it going to be a drill run? What's he going to throw? Drill run to the face. All right, decent hit there into Wishcash. Switches out. Back comes in Cofagrigus here. Mud Bomb coming in against Cofagrigus from Wishcash, threatening the Blizzard though. What is Y Haley going to do? Blizzard was throwing some blizzards in the first one, but goes for a mud bomb, takes it to the face on his Cofagrigus. Another blizzard potential, goes for another mud bomb here again, trying to dig some shields out against Y Haley here. Mud bomb blocked by Y Haley. Wishcash charging up again. Now firing back is Y Haley. Probably a shadow ball coming in. Goes for shadow ball. Blizzard blocking here. Now tapping on that Blizzard. Blizzard from Blizzard on Wishcash. Y Haley still has a shield. Interesting to see if here if he blocks. Nope. Down goes Cofagrigus taking Blizzard to the face. Cofagrigus is out. Blizzard switching right away over to his Crobat. Back comes in Beedrill. That flying wing attack from Gullbat cutting into Beedrill. He switches out. Gullback going for Poison Fang here. Really great battle here between Blizzard and Y Haley. Both fighting for that final victory. 2 1 here in this final round of the Cat Paws Open. Another Gullback coming in. Gullback coming here with another Poison Fang. And Sableye takes it to the face. Sableye, defense down. Sableye trying to get to a foul play. Gets there. Blizzard, what's he going to do? Throw up the shields? Clock running out. Yes, last second. Throws up the shields. Decides to save his, his Gullbat. Gullbat going for another Poison Fang. Digs it out. Throw him back. This is going to be probably the end, end of Sableye here. Blizzard pushing back into this one. He seems to be in, in the advantage position. Let's see how it finishes out, though. Back comes in Beedrill. Beedrill is throwing into Gullbat. Gullbat has no shields. But unfortunately, Beedrill is also not super effective against Golbat. Golbat barely survives. Switches back. Machamp's in. Going right for the rock slide. Not going to fake out this time. Why Haley still has a shield. Excellent. Rock slide. Oh, he's expecting the cross chop. Down goes Beedrill. Blizzard winning this final battle here. Good job. 2 1. What a good set of battles. Good job, guys. Let's go to the next match. All right, here we go. This is the championship match, the final match of round four. Siamese Cat Paws versus I'm Fire My Laser, a.k.a. a warm Pop-Tart. We have Pelepper versus Quagsire. Mrs. Cat Paws has the only video for this match. Bit of lag spike there. Pelepper getting to a water weather ball versus Quagsire. Let's see what Kyle is going to do.
Excellent to the to the face. Dent. Big hit there for against Quagsire. Quagsire threatening probably Stone Edge here. What's Mrs. Catpaw's going to do? Decides to let it go. Oh, Stone Edge to the face. Down goes Pelepper. That's a bit of an upset there. Mrs. Catpaw's probably going to come in with Magnadium versus that Quagsire. Yes, she does. Going for the grass. Farms him down. All right, bit of a bounce back there. Match with two shields for both players here. Both down one Pokemon coming in. Kyle comes in with Escavalier. Mrs. Catpaw is going for an earthquake, going for the big hit here. What is Kyle going to do here? Kyle, a warm pop chart takes shield there on Escavalier. All right, continue to charge up here. Escavalier firing back here. Mrs. Catpaw is actually going to throw up the shield. Blocks a drill run. Trying to get to another Earthquake before... Yes. Ooh, wow. She got to the Earthquake, but a Warm Pop-Tart. I'm firing my laser. Fired first. Gonna sack out here. Drill run again. Not very effective. Barely up. Gets to another EQ. That should at least get the second shield out of... Out of Escavalier here. Oh, to the face. Boom. Escavalier down. Wiggly Tough coming in here. That is a bit of a... Tough one here for Mrs. Kapow to deal with because that charm is just going to cut through Crustle. Crustle and smack, throwing smack down. Wiggly Tough with the charm. X Scissor going for the cheaper hit, trying to get the shield out of Wiggly Tough. Going to be a close finish here. Mrs. Kapow has got the shield. All right. Needing to get to a rock slide, but just doesn't have enough health. Crustle going down. I'm Fire Laser. Takes the first battle in this match here. Good battles. Let's see what happens in the next one. All right, here we go. This is the second match between Siamese Cat Paws and I'm Fire My Laser. A warm pop tart again. I'm Fire My Laser is up one on in this first match. Another tough open here for Mrs. Cat Paws. Snowy cast form versus Escavalier. She gets some charge and then she switches over to to Pelepper, taking the first hit here. Escavalier throws Omega Horn. It's a big hit, but it's not very, still not very effective. Pelepper is still up. Switches over to that, back to that Quagsire. Mrs. Catpaw is going for a water weather ball here. I'm expecting Quagsire to take it to the face. He does. Big hit, though. Going for one more water, water weather ball before he gets to a stone edge. Water weather ball coming in again. Is Kyle going to block here? That is the question. Yes, Quagsire throws up the shield. All right, attack coming in here. What is Mrs. Catpaw's going to do? Oh, she's going to block. Okay, she's going for the shield. Stone Edge this time. Again, another Stone Edge. Good block there, Mrs. Catpaw's. Got to a water weather ball. Putting the pressure on this Quagsire. Quagsire is definitely a bit of a problem sometimes. To the face. Down goes Quagsire. Big hit there. All right, back comes Escavalier. Trying to take out Pelepper before she gets one more water weather ball, which he does. All right, two Pokemon here. Neither one really, really amazing against S. Cavalier. This is going to be a bit of a tough battle here for Mrs. Catpaws. Let's see what happens. S. Cavalier on the attack. Charge coming in. Throws up the shield from Snowy Cast Form. Snowy Cast Form throwing Ice Weather Ball. It's not going to be a very effective here, but still going to do decent damage. To the face, decent hit there. Switches out, but comes in Wigglytuff. Snowy cast form, fire another ice weather ball into Wigglytuff here. And this one's going to be to the face. Nope, blocks it. All right, switches over to Magnanium. No shields each. Magnanium charging up. Has to get to a frenzy plant before that ice beam comes in. Frenzy Plant coming into the face from Magnanium. Mrs. Catpaws has to win this one to stay in competition to win the tournament. Big Frenzy Plant there. And oh, wow, Kyle just getting to that Ice Beam. Wigglytuff has no health. It's all on snowy cast form here. Can Mrs. Catpaws pull out this one? Farms down Wigglytuff. Snowy cast form. Gets to an ice weather ball. What a comeback here in this second match. Mrs. Catpaw is tying it up. We're going to go 1-1.
into the final match. The winner of this next battle wins the Cat Paws Open. Let's see what happens. All right, here we go. This is the final battle. This is for all the marbles. Whoever wins this one is the champion of the Cat Paws Open. Siamese Cat Paws versus I'm Fire My Laser. Oh, what happened there? She actually minimized back to, out into her main screen. Back into Pokemon Go. Snorlax coming in with a body slam. Magnating a bit on, behind on the charge because of that accidental, accidental minimize out. Body slam to the face. Friendly plant coming back in here for Magnanium. What a way to start this third battle. Actually minimizing out of the game. Pressure is on here. Here we go. Both slugging away at each other. Going for another frenzy plant. Mrs. Capaz gets there for, for a body slam. Big question here for Kyle. Does he block here or not? Does he want... If he blocks, he can body slam back and force Mrs. Capaz to shield. He does. Mrs. Catpaws, big question here. Does she just take it? Nope. She does put up the shields. All right. Block there. Looks like she's going to try to farm down Snorlax and keep a frenzy plan up. That's what I'm thinking here is the goal. Ooh, just gets to a body slam one more time. This is super tough here. Actually puts the shields up. Okay, going to go for the farm down. Doesn't want to waste that energy. Magnanium, pretty much dead, but has a frenzy plant. It's a pretty big threat to anything he brings out. Comes in. Ooh, Quagsire switches. Oh, he tried to. I think he's trying to catch a frenzy plant on um, his Escavalier, which it does work, but he's, he puts up a shield at the same time anyway. She did have the energy for the Earthquake, but she already tapped on the frenzy plant. Down goes Magnanium. In comes Pelopper here. Water Weather Ball. <clears throat> If he hadn't put up the shield there, that, let's see, that might change the outcome of this match. Water Weather Ball going into Escavalier there. Escavalier firing back. Mega Horn to the face. Big hit against another Water Weather Ball going down. This is going to take out that Escavalier. Couple play mistakes here by Fire My Laser has. Put Mrs. Catpaws in the lead. Quagsire coming in. Mud shots down before another water weather ball coming in. Okay, she's got Magnanium and Muck. Comes in with Magnanium, gets to a frenzy plant. Oh my god, here it comes. This is going to give her the win. Mrs. Catpaws is going to win the Cat Paws Open. Way to go, Mrs. Catpaws. Boom, super effective to the face. Taking out Kyle Day, uh, Fireman Laser, Warm Pop Tart. Good battles, both. Oh my God, that was what a clutch finish there. Some big moves, some couple mistakes, I think. Might have cost uh, Kyle the, the match, but he still played really well. What a way to finish this tournament. Congrats to Mrs. Catpaws, winner of the Catpaws Open. All right, here we go. That was an exciting, awesome final round. Uh, Mrs. Catpaws, big congrats. Tournament winner coming back there from behind against uh, a warm pop tart. Battled all the way, didn't give up. So huge congrats to Mrs. Catpaws for winning the ninth Catpaws Open, the Brawler Cup. So big congrats there. And um, thank you to everyone who participated um, in this tournament, both by just competing and playing, and also, especially those who all who submitted video. Uh, this was a super fun video project. I had a lot of fun doing with it. I hope to keep doing um, these video projects in the future. I've already posted up the rules for the 10th Cat Paws Open, which is going to be the Glacial Cup for December. I will open up the registration for that one soon. So for anyone who wants to get in future videos like this, sign up for the Cat Paws Opens and make sure you record your battles. And uh, I look forward to doing um, this again for December. Uh, let's just quickly look over here, and this is the final um, scores, how everything uh, finished out for the cup. Mrs. Catpaws went undefeated, 4-0, uh, a total of nine battles won. Eagle HQ coming back there was down a little bit, but then um, took me out and uh, won his last one as well. So coming in second, Eagle HQ coming in there second uh, with... Uh, Three total points. Blizzard, 
Um, coming back in the, the last uh, round there in the fourth round and finishing up uh, tied. It's actually a three-way tie here for second place with Eagle HQ, Blizzard, and a Warm Pop-Tart. And you can kind of see how the tiebreaker goes uh, as far as um, final placing there. But technically it's a three-way tie uh, for second place. Uh, finishing up in a two-way tie for third place after that is going to be Mr. Cat Paws, myself, when Johnny Tours, but technically we're both kind of finishing uh, kind of in the middle there. Uh, big Dude didn't have the best run, um, but definitely doesn't show his total battle uh, skill. He did really, really awesome in some other tournaments, including taking out some really high skill players, so he's definitely... Always going to be a big threat in the Cat Paws Opens. Look forward to seeing um, future battles with uh, with him in there. Why Haley doing really well um, with only finishing with one point. But Why Haley uh, battled really well in this cup. Did some really good moves. Great job there. And uh, Josie with, uh, didn't technically get any victories in the battles they played. But they did a really good job. First time contender, competitor. In the cat paws open, I really hope they come back and um, keep battling because uh, they got some potential there. And we'll hopefully like to see them move up and um, get some wins. Uh, but good job to everyone! Thank you so much for uh, participating in this cat paws open. Super excited to do the next series. Like I said, uh, the Glacial Cup for December. Info for that one is already um, in the cat paws open channel on Discord. If anyone wants to check out and start planning out their teams. I'll be posting up a registration for uh, the tournaments probably shortly after I put up these videos on YouTube. Um, so yeah, again, this was super fun, and thanks to everyone who participated. Looking forward to doing this soon in the future. Until next time, be safe, have fun, catch lots of Pokemon, and don't forget to catch me live on Facebook. We'll see you. Go Battle League Season 10 starting soon.